Hey everybody, it's Ben and I'm back with another Just Ben Collections exclusive video. And I am super, super stoked because we're covering, as promised, Game of Thrones. I am sure there are people out there with comparable collections and more power to you. I wish everybody could have a collection of nothing but Game of Thrones. If there was enough Game of Thrones stuff to fill my house, I'll do it eventually. Watch me. Anyway, so I want to cover different areas of this tonight. I want to cover the Winterfell area, the Lannister area. I want to walk through all the pops. I want to cover the Daenerys and the Dragon area. And then I have a Night King Dark Horse area that I will cover. It will take a little bit, but, you know, it's pretty dope. And if you're a fan of Game of Thrones, you're really going to dig this. Because this is how your collection should or could look like. And I know for a fact mine is a one of a kind. And I will get into why here shortly. Remember, just for watching my videos, Just Ben Collectibles 011 is my eBay store handle. That's my pop guide handle. You get 10% off anything and everything on, my, on your next order just for watching a video. Every time you share it on every platform you share it on, I'm going to enter you in, in a prize. Just let me know. Because it's going to be Game of Thrones, Stranger Things, Star Wars related, something awesome like I've said before. So anyway, well, let's jump right in here. So, and I apologize, I've worked is really, really hard on the lighting in here to get it so there's not a whole lot of glare. I can't help it. Everything's in plastic and I don't want to take it out. So we're going to just deal here. All right, so we're going to start with the number one box, which is Tyrion Lannister, played by Peter Dinklage, one of my favorite characters on the entire show okay so the mother box is the 001 box there on the right the difference was a lot you can get the one on the right for about 15 bucks give or take the one on the right or the left is the where his scar appears for the first time but it's unofficially and it is worth anywhere from four to seven hundred dollars i wouldn't let it go for anything less than that because it's near mint the number two box that right there is ned stark the one on the right is the mother box. The one on the left is the 2013 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. There was only 1,008 of them ever made, and it is one of the most sought-after pops in the world. There are pops out there that are more rare, but this one, so many people want it that it is might as well just be as rare. So that completes that collection right there, so mine is awesome. All right, so I have three of the number three box, which is Daenerys Targaryen, and I'm going to tell you was I. All right, so the first one here on the far right is the red and green dragon, probably Rhaegal. That's the mother box. The next one over is before Barnes & Noble was putting exclusive stickers on their box, but that's a Barnes & Noble exclusive golden dragon. As I've said, Funko has a pretty strict QC department, and that's their Red Dragon Air. It's a known Air, and it'll run you a couple hundred bucks. The Golden Dragon's anywhere from five to seven hundred bucks. I would not let it go for anything less than that. In fact, I'm not letting that one go at all anytime soon. Call Drago, number four. Mine is near mint, and I'm holding on to it. All right, so let's come on down here. I know, I know, glare, glare, glare. All right, we're going to cover the Hound, which is the number five box there in the corner behind Marjorie Tyrell's Dark Horse and her Minery. Minery. <laughs> Mini. Growing strong. All right, number six box. I have three. The two on the left are two of my pride and joys, just like the Ned Stark. They are called HMB. They glow in the dark. How I understand it, HMB is basically Europe's version of Hot Topic, as far as I understand it. I know that they don't have Hot Topic, and it's very similar. And those were released there. They both glow in the dark. The one on the left is the more rare of the two. They're both worth about $1,000 to $1,100. Don't let them go. Grab one if you can. There's the mother box, the six box. Okay, I'm going to cover the number seven box, which is Jon Snow's first appearance. All right, on the far on the far right, we'll start on the far right, which is the mother box. Next to it, I have two that are identical in this. Those are the Walmart exclusive Jon Snow Beyond the Wall. They have glitter on the head. That is the difference between that and the seven box is the glitter and the sticker. Like I've said before, the QC department lets very few things through. 
and I have never seen another sticker that's upside down. And that's how I got it. They're worth about $300 to $400 a piece. I've sold them for that. I've sold them for less. So if you can, you can get a hold on that. And then the next one's called Bloody Jon Snow, and that is the number seven Hot Topic exclusive self-explanatory. All right, I'll show these minis off so we don't have to come back. That is a wax set right there next to Sam Tarly. That is the Hand of the King wax set. I thought was pretty dope. There's the Baratheon pins. That's Renly in memoriam, the gray one. There's Oberon Martell. There's the mountain. I believe that that's um, Battle of the Bastards, dude. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Um, Ramsey Bolton. And there's Braun. There's Varys. Peter Baelish in the mountain, like I said. That is a Game of Thrones, Hand of the King, San Diego Comic Con bottle opener I thought was cool. These are also Funko. There's Egret, Tormond, and then the Rattle Shirt. I put the Great Joy coins there I got at Barnes & Noble. That's a phone case I couldn't let go of. That is a Funko pin. It's a Wildfire pin. It does go with your Funko checklists. That way we don't have to come back there. All right, back to the pops. The number eight box is worth a couple hundred bucks. It's Rob Stark. He's rare. Hold on to him. He's awesome. There's Arya. Mine is in mint condition. She's amazing. It's a low JJL number. As you can see, the tin of the box is a little different. So it means it's early print. There's Jamie Lannister. There's Cersei Lannister. There's Renly Baratheon. It's also worth a couple hundred bucks. Brienne. And then I had to get my bloody Brienne. I had the only one I could find when I was looking for one was in Australia. And I paid 300 bucks for mine. So I'm sure you could get it for less. But I would grab it because they will go for that. Joffrey's worth anywhere from 80 to 100 bucks there. We are going to come up and cover. Hodor! Hodor! 80, 80 to 100 bucks. There's Drogon. And there's Tywin. Tywin has two variants. If you look closely, nothing on the box is different. No sticker, anything. He's got silver and gold armor. Grab him up. Egret's worth anywhere from 150 to 200 bucks. Okay. My ghosts are one of the things that put me over. Won't make me feel like mine's a one-of-a-kind collection. I've got the two different stickers that make... They were from the 2014 Comic-Con. Both are official stickers. The one on the very far right is... The mother box. This one has a very low JJL number and I'm told it was actually owned by one of the cast members of the Stark family and I could show the paperwork with that. You just have to ask some questions. I'm going to come back up and cover Rhaegal but I wanted to show off my Hand of the Queen and Hand of the King pins here and my Humming Mockingbird which is Littlefinger's official pin. I thought these were dopes! And then we've got Samuel Tarly being all crooked up there, kind of like his head. He's got the biggest head, man. He's awesome. One of my faves, though. Okay, there is Rhaegal. There is Tyrion again. The scar is officially there. All right, there is Viserion. Hot Topic exclusive. It's rare. Grey Wind. That's a couple hundred bucks. Daenerys. There's a reason why I have two. And if I could show you, if I can get close enough without... See, I'm showing you my hands. I'm sorry. You can tell that the dress is pinker there than it is there. And then the boxes. They're both pretty mint, but one is so early of a print, I kept them both. Daenerys Targaryen, the 24 box, 25 box there, excuse me. That's an Amazon exclusive. You won't see it on the back of the 24 or the 26 box as far as the series is concerned. It skips 25, and that is why I believe. And it's the Mishka blue dress Daenerys Targaryen. It's right next to Castle Black, number 26, Jon Snow. That's called Muddy Jon Snow. And there is the mother box of that 26 box next to Samwell. Beautiful Sansa. There is Littlefinger, Peter Baelish, Oberon Martell, who is fittingly sitting next to the mountain. There is Grey Worm, and there's the first appearance of your white. Wigget. I'm going to come up a row. 
covering the Hot Topic early release Jamie Lannister. The mother box is 35 right next to him. GameStop shows up here with an exclusive for Ramsey Bolton next to Marjorie Tyrell, Braun, Jorah. I have two Jorahs because Jorah is a pop culture release. A pop culture is a store out of Australia. That was their original store, and that's where Jorah is a pop culture exclusive. The stickers are actually on the bottom of the box. I don't want to pull them out. But there is Stannis Baratheon. All right, so I'm going to scoot over here and show you the next row up, which is Melisandre. There's the Melisandre, and then there's Translucent Barnes and Noble exclusive. There is the Harpy. And here's another thing that makes my set pretty cool, and it's my Night King set. There's the Game of Thrones, or the GameStop exclusive Night King that glows in the dark. There's the 44 box, which is the mother box. There's the 2017 shared convention exclusive. Remember, we talked about this. Then the one next to it was the limited edition, which means it was legitimately at the convention. And from what I'm told, there was around 150 of those. So that one right there on the far right is rare, so grab it. But that is why I have all four, because I want the shared release and I want the official sticker, and you should too. All right, there's the Unsullied. There's Jon Snow, 49. There's Tyrion. Essos Tyrion, I'm sure, with the scar and the long hair. Beard. There's Cersei. There's Bran Stark. Tormund shows up, my gents. And the Bambox exclusive, he has snow on his head. There is the mountain. That is rare. The one on the right is the limited edition official sticker there. And then there's the shared release. There's the Eliana Marmont shared release of the New York Comic Con. All right, I'm trying to go slow so I don't make you sick here. And let's go up a row. So there's the Eliana Marmont limited edition New York City Comic Con. Same thing, Chuck Hennick are both sides there. There's Daenerys Targaryen, Jon Snow. Davo Seaworth finally gets a pop here, and so does Olena Tyrell. There's your shared and your official label right there. Having a tough time holding my arms up. Sorry if I'm getting shaky, gents. All right, and then, then brand new, Beric Dondarrion has both. There's the official and shared release. I got my shared release at Barnes & Noble. Yara Greyjoy, Brent Stark. That's his third eye rave, and they finally get pops. Varys has had a mini this entire time. Finally gets a pop. All right, I have to make an admission here. The 69 box, Children of the Forest, has a metallic variant that I have on order. It's not up yet. I am sorry. It's not here officially. There is Gendry, and then I threw the creator's pop from Barnes & Noble right there. That is George R. R. Martin. And that's officially all the four-inch pops from Game of Thrones. So I want to come over here and show you the Daenerys area so I can cover the rest of the holes on the pops. Wow, my arms are tired. Whose fault's that, guys? All right, so I'll start here. That's Daenerys with Rhaegal. That is in the top 10 most rare minis in the world. I have a few of those for sale. Let's talk about it. Above it is Daenerys with Drogon. And then there's the McFarlane, which I have the whole set there. And then there's Grey Worm. And then that's the Dark Horse Grey Worm. Okay. So as you see, Rhaegal and Viserion, those are the six inches there in the background. And then there's the Hot Topic of Drogon. Those are the, <clears throat> excuse me, six inch pops. I have the whole entire Titan set too, because I think they're amazing. So there's the white Viserion and Drogon. And the six inch, six and a half inch Drogon Titan, the 5,000 piece. The one on the top are San Diego Comic-Con versions of Drogon. On the top is the complete set of Series 2 Dragons. Dra dragons. Dragons. <laughs> Dragon! <laughs> anyway, Rhaegal on the very left side is green. 
one of the top 10 rarest minis in the world. I have one of those for sale as well. I've ran out. Every time I get any of the other ones, I run out quick, but I can get them. And then there's the Targaryen coin set, and then Drogon's pop, Pocket Pop. All right, let's get into some rare poppage here. There's probably a good couple $3,000 right here between these pops. The Daenerys and Drogon, it's metallic, and then she's got the metallic Mishka. That's an exclusive, and it's limited. We got the Think Geek exclusive, which is, there's a vinyl that's coming out right now. I've been in pre-order, and I have an Arya Stark rock candy on pre-order. But that is Call of Khaleesi's Wedding. That is super duper rare. You won't find that beneath $400, $500. If you do, snag it, or tell me about it. There's the Pop Flare, which is on your Funko checklists. There's the In Memoriam called Drago, regular called Drago. There's the Wedding Khaleesi, and then Mishka. And I thought it was cool to have that on top of the eggs. That's a McFarlane Rhaegal. That right there, with the dragons, if you guys remember, that is from Season 1, when she's given away to call Drago by her brother. And then there's the scene in the hot tub. You know you remember it. And that's the clip that her dress was held with before she gets in the hot water. And her brother plays with her nips. All right. There's Moon of My Life. My Sun and Stars. Daenerys and Drogon. That's the, uh, like, the pop rides. It's pretty cool, and I have that in a case, too. I can tell you where to get all these cases. They're pretty cool. Everything here is in a case, which is why there's glare, and I'm so sorry. All right, well, there's Jon Snow, and that's beyond the wall, Jon Snow, so he's got a little bit of... <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but he has snow on his head. That's an out-of-the-box Jon Snow I just kind of ended up with. Series 2 Jon Snow. There's Ghost. There's Jon Snow. There is Daenerys Targaryen, the 63 box. She's on her throne, finally. Thought it was fitting to have Jon Snow there. There is Khal, Khaleesi, and Rhaegal. I believe you could only get that with, like, season... I can't think it came with a season of it at Walmart. But her face is dirty, and it's got a mini Rhaegal, and it's got a Khal Drago in there, too. All right, and then that... that That'll run you two, three, four hundred dollars too. So will this. Drogon, Rhaegal, and Basarian. It's all three of the baby dragons. And then underneath it is the metallic that that's a GameStop exclusive. That's between a hundred and a hundred and fifty bucks. You can definitely get that less than the baby ones above it. Alright, and then there's a harpy. That one right there, the top one is Baby Drogon. He's the rarest of them, and he's worth about a hundred and fifty bucks now. There's Rhaegal and Basarian. And if you guys think I'm bidding high, I do bid high because that's what they're going to be worth. That's what I would sell them for. Don't listen to Pop Guide. I'm working on a website that'll, <laughs> that'll help with that. But Pop Guide's always really low, so that doesn't mean you should let your stuff go for that. Anyway, those are Jon Snow's Titans. Tormund, Ghost McFarlane. There's a Brienne. There's Oathkeeper. Brienne's Sword. That's Daenerys Targaryen in the back there. I thought that was a really cool statue. It's not even Dark Horse. There's Ghost. That pocket pop just came out. There's his action figure. Jon Snow's action figure. And then these three right here. Technically, these are all like customs. But they're dope. And they have the chase sticker. That's a metallic Mishka. Only found in that box. That's a metallic Drogon, only found in that box. That's a called Drago in a bloody chase box. It's really cool. And I found those and thought that I'd take those. That right there comes with the Beyond the Wall t-shirt and the Beyond the Wall pop, that keychain there. These are also Funko. These are their full-size legacy set. I have them all. There is Rob Stark. There's Tyrion, which is a 2014 exclusive. There's Tyrion, and then Tyrion's got another, sorry, Tyrion's got another exclusive there. And then there's Jaime Lannister. And then I'll come over here, and I'll show you Sansa's rock candy. 
That just barely came out in December. There is Arya's Legacy. Jon Snow's Legacy. There is Tyrion. That just barely came out. That pocket popped there. And then there's the rest of them. It's Jon Snow, both Beyond the Wall and Regular. And then there's Daenerys. And then at the top, those are the plushy San Diego Comic Cons of all four dragons. They're all three dragons. Well, <clears throat> all three dragons. And then that's Emilia Clark signed of the number three mother box, along with Daenerys Targaryen's Rock Candy. That's a Dark Horse bust of her, as well as the Dark Horse Deluxe. That's also a Funko Reaction Hero of the White Walker. All right. We're busting out this. All right, let's move through here, though. All right, so there is my Winterfell area. So there's Ghost, and there's Summer, Wart Hodor. There's Hodor carrying Bran. That's a Dark Horse exclusive. There's the McFarlane set there. It's Dark Horse Arya and Sansa. There's Sansa Titan. There's the Ned Stark Flare and Sansa's Funko. In the back, that's Ned Stark, Legacy. His Dark Horse there. I have all the boxes for him, too, um, in the other room. I just couldn't keep Dark Horse and Funko in their box. So I do have all the box packaging, everything. I'll pop them right back in. He's worth about 150 bucks. That in the back is Sean Bean's autograph there. I'm a big Sean Bean fan, from Lord of the Rings to Patriot Games and everything in between. <laughs> And then this one over here is uh, Ned Stark, and it's signed by Sean Bean. And I'll get this in there, and it says, Sean Bean, Lord of Winterfell. Oh, how cool is that? Nerd alert! There is their coins. Rob Stark. And then there's a Headless Ned. There's Arya's Titans. Those are both Chase variants, so I put them in a case. There's Ned Stark. There's Rob Stark. There's a custom. There's Arya in the canals. Regular Arya with needle. And there's her titan. And then you can see Ned and the dark horse ghost in the background there. This is one of 1,200. This is a hand-painted dark horse deluxe, um, basically, statue of Winterfell. I'm just going to just show you how detailed this is. There's the worship tree. See that? I just think about Brandon Stark climbing those walls. And then I set that on the banner there. That's signed by Hodor. And then there is the Bravos Faceless Man coin of Arya's. Alright, I'm going to bust over here to the Lannister area. Also set on their banner. Let's start over here. You have Cersei's Dark Horse. You have a Tyrion Legacy out of the box in the back by Jamie's hand there. Hear me roar. There's Jamie. There's his Titan. I have all of the Bunko. I have the entire Game of Thrones set, people. There's Jamie without his hand. There's Jamie with and without his sword. One's a Hot Topic exclusive. There's In Memoriam Tywin. There's regular Tywin. There's Joffrey. There's Essos Tyrion. There's Scar Tyrion. Scar Tyrion's a Hot Topic exclusive. And then there's with his crossbow as well. And then he fell down there. <laughs> and there's his Titan. There is the throne. Which is a New York Comic Con exclusive. That's a wallet there. Dragon wallet. And then there's a... That's a dark horse throne next to Tywin and Joffrey there. And then there's the McFarlane throne. So I'll take a step back. I thought that was really cool. So that's kind of what it looks like. I'm going to back up. And that's on one side of my man cave. So I think I've pretty much covered all of that. So I'm going to move over here real quick to finish up. We're almost done. Thank you for your patience and time. This is the Hound's big bust there. There's his dark horse. 
There's Littlefinger, Brienne. There's a Harpy, Egret, Baratheon, Ober Martell. There's Varys, Jon Snow. They're all sitting on a chainmail vest that me and my friend Michael Meeks built. It's uh, for cosplay, and we it took a long time to build that. And it's in front of the entire Dorbs collection. If you can see, there's the dragon. Those are both the shared and the non-shared. And then there's one of Joffrey, the Hound, and White Walker, which also has behind there on the back the non-shared. There's Glow in the Dark, Melisandre, non-Glow in the Dark. There's Cersei, there's Jon Snow, everybody's back there. Sorry about the glare. I'll come up and show you. There's Ned Stark, there's Tyrion with a scar. That's one of my favorite pieces, Dorb-wise. They made a two-pack of Tormund and Brienne. Little love interest there. I love that so much more than you think. It's a Tokyo exclusive, and then there's the shared exclusive there. And then on the top is Daenerys and Jon Snow, followed by... Stannis and the Red Witch, Melisandre. There's uh, Tormund's Titan and the Hound. I'm going to come over because that's signed by Jerome Flynn. He plays Braun. There's the Bandbox exclusive, Jon and Snow and Bran. There's the Battle of the Bastards. Now these are the creators. Those just barely came out. So that's the official sticker and the shared sticker. It's got, you know, D.B. Weiss, I believe... Um, George R. R. Martin. Who's the other dude? That other dude. All right, well, the Wigget, the white, the glow-in-the-dark white is on the left, and the other one's on the right. That's also in the top 10 rarest minis in the world. It's worth about 500 bucks. We're going to come over here to the two Titans. The one on the left is the San Diego Comic-Con. That's the Hound and Brienne's Titan there. I'm going to back up here. And I'm going to turn the light back back up so you guys can see. There's all four of those. There's the Giant White and Mag the Mighty. But Mag the Mighty has two. The Shared and Non-Shared. And then there's... One is 2,500 piece and the other one is not. And then if I come over here, there's the entire Funko Hakari set of the Night King. They're all Funko. They're all hand-painted, hand-crafted Japanese Hikari. One of them only has 250 pieces. I actually had to order that one from um, Australia. A couple of these were from, like, Spain. And then there's a translucent Night King. That's a, a Think Geek. I didn't take that dark horse out of the box. At the top is the Pocket Pop tin. That is also signed by Richard Brake, who plays the Night King. There's the Night King's Dorb. And then if you look at the top, there is the Hound, Daenerys, Brienne, both the White Walker and the Comic-Con Glow-in-the-Dark White Walker Legacies, and then Mishka, Daenerys, and Khal Drago. And then there is a limited edition um, vinyl, as well as the White Walker vinyl. And that is signed by the guy that gives can't remember his name, but he gives Arya dancing lessons. It'll come to me. That right there is another error. I like to collect errors, but if you look close, the box was never broken. The seal has never been broken. That's legitimately two Jon Snows in there. I thought it was cool. There is a Game of Thrones Newberry Comics exclusive. There is Jorah, Daenerys Magnet, couple more pocket pops and a McFarlane. I'm going to come up here. There's Jason Momoa's autograph. Some more magnets. The Night King. Icy Viserion. Pocket pops. And then Fire and Blood. I have all the t-shirts as well to go with it. All the pocket pops. Everything. So anyway, that's a, as quick as I could bust through that. If you have any questions about any of this, where I got it, where you can find it, I can help you find things. This is my passion. I love talking pops. This is my set. I know it's a one of a kind just because of the autographs and a few of the other things. Might not be the greatest, but I love it. If you want something like this, I promise you, you can do this for not as expensive as you think.
You just got to be willing to talk to people. All right. Thank you very much. Remember that discount. April cannot come soon enough. Balar Mogulis. We're going to pan over here in the corner and show you one more thing. It's George R.R. R. Martin on top of the egg, on top of the Funko wall. Don't mind Gollum and Gandalf. But... Thank you for watching another Just Been Exclusive. Peace and one love, Stranger Things is up next.